I will say that they, it's very wide reaching and uh, maybe a, a good example would be to tell you where the students that are in our program are actually doing internships. So it's been all over uh, the spectrum um, in insurance companies. So we've had people working for Care First, uh, doing programs with teachers, uh, Kaiser doing education for OBGYNs. Uh, we had somebody doing a mindfulness program in, um, in prison with the incar incarcerated. We have um, people working with food banks doing uh, programs for both the people working at the food bank and the people coming in to use the food bank. So that's an example of both workplace wellness and community health. Um, uh, one of my former um, students is working in the health promotion division at John Hopkins doing um, community health program planning and needs assessment and also looking at, it, at policy around health within the community. So it's, it's very wide reaching and we say to students, you know, really look at what your passion is and try to find that within the community or the workplace. And, and it's been great to see how diverse people's interests are and where they can actually uh, find work in internships and go on to, to get a little more long-term jobs. Uh, you know, I think the biggest challenge is that people don't actually know what we do. And I think that that really needs a, a little bit more um, kind of, well, I shouldn't say publicity, we'd say a communication pitch within health promotion for people to actually know what we do. So because we kind of come out of that, that, um, that public health um, perspective, I think that people often think that we're, we're not working so much in the integrative um, part of health. And I see that our role, because people are really demanding um, programs that look at health and, and changing that culture within workplaces and communities, they talk about creating a culture of wellness or health, I think we really have to kind of get people to understand that we're looking at the big picture and that we really can bring integrative health within the community in a way that is targeting that community and really trying to uplift them in a way that, that will work for everybody. And, you know, I think bringing in community input, what do the people actually need, is also part of what we do well. So, you know, I think it's it's getting people acquainted with what we do. And also the students can sit for the CHES exam so they can become um, certified health edu education specialists. And I think that in itself is a really well-known um, kind of credit, accreditation, national accreditation. So I think we, we also need to make sure that people understand what those initials mean and, and how well regarded they are in the community.